This is the Autocampers MRV. What does MRV stand for? Multi-use recreational vehicle. Very clever vehicle this, it has a unique flooring system that allows it to have all sorts of different layouts. So let's take a closer look. One of the nice things about the MRV is when the bed's set in the lower position, you've actually got this really nice large lounge. The rear seats, the travel seats that fit on the rails, they have little skis that sit on the underside of them so you can use them as outdoor seating. So a really flexible layout and even with your chairs outside you've still got four good adult sized seats in here. So MRV, very very flexible. Both cab seats swivel in the MRV and the removable rear travel seats can be set at almost any position on the floor rails to create your perfect dining space. You can have up to five travel seats and the vehicle can even be made fully wheelchair accessible. To complement the twin sliding doors, you can add awnings to both sides for true indoor-outdoor living. The bed can be set at two heights and a second double bed can be added if you opt for the pop-top roof. With the bed in its highest position, there's still plenty of storage space underneath and the rear travel seat's backrest folds down so the bed system can fit over the top. You just need to add a pole in the bracket for the dining table. An interesting option is the cab bunk system which just fits in place over the front seats. It's great if you need an extra berth for a child. While we're in here we'll have a quick look at the kitchen. Loads of room on the kitchen. You've got this nice removable uh, sink cover. Nice deep sink. Two burner gas hob. There's a sealed gas lock at the back so you'll have plenty of gas flow. And you've got easy access to all the control panel. We've got Wabasto blown air heating fitted to this one, uh, that's an option, well worth ticking with a pop top. Um, and you've got lots of good storage, lots of timbre doors, and again, the MRV, like the other models in their range, it has the clever flip up shelving in the wardrobe. So yes, lots of ways you can use this vehicle. The roof can be specified in low line, pop top or high top versions and you can specify two body lengths, the short wheelbase or the long wheelbase. One of the great things about the MRV is very much designed for inside outside living so you can specify this optional awning and the inside chairs you can put them on these little skis and uh, use them outside as really comfortable uh, outdoor seating chairs. The other nice thing is with the outdoor kitchen, if you want to grab a cold drink, very convivial and it's a really nice place to sit. Both these chairs are fully adjustable in all sorts of different directions and it's a very, very nice place to sit on a campsite and watch the world go by, which is one of the great joys of camping outdoors. And how many camper vans can you come in from both sides? Very clever. As with all auto campers, there's a vast amount of storage space. You've got this useful compartment for chairs, mains cables, any sort of outdoor kit. Uh, it's nice durable 24mm thick cabinets too, so it's a good solid van. And um, underneath the, even if you've got the bed in place on this particular MRV, there's loads of storage space underneath. With the bed system removed, it's basically a massive van, so if you're shifting house, you're moving a motorbike, you want to get your race car with all its wheels and tyres and jerry cans, or a couple of mountain bikes, or kayaks, whatever you can think of, this van can swallow it. Autocampers build on the high spec limited model, so you have all sorts of nice bells and whistles as standard. So there's all sorts of labour saving gadgets such as automatic wipers, auto headlights, got power mirrors, they're heated and they fold, so there's quite a lot of kit that comes as standard. A lot of other manufacturers build on lesser spec models of transit rather than the top one. It's not just the transit either, when they're doing uh, VW transporter conversions they're built on the top Highline model too, so you do get a lot on the base vehicle. So it does feel very premium, which you know when you're spending 50,000 plus on a camper van, that's important. Thank you.